about 200 people signed up today to shave their heads because, let's face it, nothing looks sexier than a shaved head. Actually, nothing makes you feel sexier or feel better about yourself than helping out a worthy cause. This is the ninth year that Oklahoma City has held a St. Bollard's event in which people get their heads shaved in exchange for pledges of financial support for research into childhood cancer. Fundraising efforts benefit St. Baldrick's Foundation. It's a national effort. For more information can be found online at stbaldrick's.org. People cutting off their hair. It helps the kids feel comfortable with having bald heads. What better cause is there than to help a little kid with cancer feel more comfortable? Fletcher Vines was no ordinary child. In October of 2002, Fletcher was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer called Ewing sarcoma. Initially beginning in his neck, the cancer then moved to his lungs and stomach. Fletcher passed away Tuesday, May 9, 2006. His mom, Gail Vines, is the driving force behind Oklahoma City's St. Baldrick's Day event. She is the co-owner of Flip's Wine Bar and Tutorial and has been a long-standing member of the Western Avenue Association. Here's some quick background on young Mr. Fletcher. He raised money for Hurricane Katrina victims even as he battled cancer. His efforts inspired actress Jane Seymour to write the book Open Hearts. In fact, in 2006, Seymour visited Fletcher, along with the other kids at Jimmy Everest Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders. He would always say, like, when people would come in and visit him, uh, they would have, say, how are you, Fletcher? And he would always say, more importantly, how are you? And so, yeah, he, he got it. He got it. My son was diagnosed in 2002, and um, we lost him, but he went on to bigger and better things. But um, uh, it's uh, huge this year. I don't know what took off, but I'm, I'm glad it did. It, it's a real uh, local community camaraderie. This is amazing. I mean, this is our hugest year ever, and I don't know why it happened, but I'm glad it happened. I think we've raised about 100000 so far, and we've never done that in one day. No, well, no, our goal was like half of that, so yeah, we've surpassed it.